delighted to welcome you here to Castletown House and the OPW Munich University Archive and Research Centre for this year's International Women's Day. I'm Nicola Kelly, the archivist here, um, and I'm very excited to introduce you to one of our formidable women um, that features in our Connolly and Castletown papers. Lady Louisa Connolly, um, who lived in Castleton from 1759 until 1821, um, is one of the most prominent um, Irish women in 18th century society. And we were very fortunate to have a collection of her letters, account books and photographs um, here from, from the estate which give us um, a fantastic insight, not only into Lady Louisa's life, but an evocation of 18th century life here in Castletown and Ireland. Born Lady Louisa Augusta Lennox to the second Duke of Richmond, Lady Louisa married Thomas Connolly, one of the richest men in Ireland in 1759, and came here at 15 years of age to Castletown House. Um, quite a young woman. Um, she writes prolifically in her letters what it was like coming to Ireland, um, coming to Castletown House for the first time and being a, a keeper of this wonderful estate. Featured in over a thousand letters here that we have in, in her archive, she talks longly about her, her family her sister Emily, the Duchess of Leinster, Carton House, and their relationship, but also society for women during the 18th century. As we know, Lady Louisa Connolly was a figurehead in the decoration and design of Castleton House as it is known today. From the Palladian architecture colonnades that feature outside of the house, to the wonderful gardens that we were able to enjoy today. Lady Louisa speaks in volumes through her letters on their design. In just one example um, of Lady Louisa's personal decorative projects, she speaks very fondly here about decorating um, some closets and, and painting silk to decorate a couple of the rooms in Castletown. She writes to her sister, Lady Sarah Lennox, on the 8th of May, 1768. My dear Sally, I am so busy painting some flowers with the French stamps upon white satin to hang a little closet with that I should scarcely find time to write to you. If I did not begin of a Sunday, it's the quickest work I ever saw. Quite a work suited to your genius. And when done all together, it looks really pretty. A number of other letters like this give us a fantastic insight into the decoration of Castletown's main, main rooms. Um, Lady Louisa often wrote to her sisters for advice on, on their decoration, um, how to suitably paint and decorate each room, and we really see through the letters um, how, how she was influenced in doing this and they really are a fantastic record um, of how the rooms were decorated during this period. Not only was Lady Louisa Connolly involved in the, dec in the decoration and works carried out throughout Castletown, we can also see here from her personal account book that she was heavily involved in philanthropic, philanthropic efforts throughout Salbridge and Kildare. For example here, she pays sums of £32, £50, uh, £133 to various charities uh, established in her name in Selbridge. For example, the Charter School, um, the Poor of Selbridge Fund and various other schools that were founded by her in the 1790s. For example, she founded a school for girls and boys in Selbridge um, to teach them trades such as hat making, lace making, sewing, carpentry and husbandry. 
and we can see for over a 30 year period that Lady Louisa contributes regularly to these causes. Um, we know also through her letters that the local community was very important to her and the people of Salbridge were constantly in her thoughts.